it's Gemma from A Spoonful of Magic and welcome to our last vlog of the series. We're at Disneyland Paris and we're, we've been here for three nights staying at Sequoia Lodge. So we're just heading up to the park gates which are just beyond the Disneyland Hotel which is currently under refurb at the moment. You can see it's all boarded round. I'm not quite sure when that's going to open yet but the rooms look very nice. Um, that they've advertised. So we're just heading on down to the right hand side which is where the hotel guests can go in early. If you've got the magic hour you can go in at 8.30 so it's a good thing to utilise because the park's a little bit quieter and then we just leg it to one of the main attractions really that gets busy so we'll be heading to Big Thunder Mountain. Such a beautiful hotel. Ready, Aria? I love all the posters. It's what Disney geeks do. We look at all the detail. Right, out onto Main Street we go. There's the beautiful bandstand. Little fact for you, they did originally install a bandstand at the original Disneyland Park in California because Walt Disney loved bandstands, but they had to take it out because they felt it blocked the view of the castle. So when they built Disneyland Paris, they built the castle a lot taller and then they were able to install a bandstand. See, I'm full of facts. Could probably become a tour guide, really. Now, we went to Walt Disney World at the beginning of 2022, and obviously, they were celebrating, they're still celebrating the 50th, 50th anniversary. Um, but I do have to say, and I do love Walt Disney World, but Disneyland Paris. I do think they're celebrating their 30th better. I just think the parades are better, the music's better. I don't know what it is, but I've been very impressed with Disneyland Paris this year. Main Street Motors. Unfortunately, at the moment, the Market House Delicatessen is closed, which is a bit of a shame because they do a lovely croque monsieur in there. So I'm about to miss that this trip. And there's the beautiful castle. Unfortunately, we've got very fine rain this morning, so it probably looks uh, quite hazy on the camera this morning. And it wasn't forecast to rain while we're here, so of course, I didn't bring a waterproof coat, did I? No. So, little tip for you, always pack a waterproof coat, just in case. So we're just heading into Frontierland. And generally, most people tend to go into Fantasyland in the mornings. So this area might be a bit quieter this morning, which will be good. And here's the fortress of the Wild West, which is pretty cool because you can walk all the way around it. And there's the Molly Brown just ahead steamboat and there's just some shops here on the right so if you're one of those mums that doesn't like to go on to the faster rides you can have a little wander around the shops so 
So as you can see, it is deadly quiet this morning and we've got 10 minute entrance. Happy days. Bonjour. Bonjour. And the cast members are always really happy. Come rain or shine. Baby Yoda. <laughs> you just answered that now. Are you looking forward to your favourite ride? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The mountain. Is it your favourite too? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're thrill seekers, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Loves it. So I did wash and dry my hair this morning. Now it's wet. As well as a very wet fur coat. Oh well, good job we're going home today because if it gets soaked I'll just sling it in the boot. again no <laughs> die. Die, die. Die. you want to go again <laughs> so we're just heading back onto phantom manor <laughs> cast members saying something to me here it is creepy One of our favourites, so it had to be had to be done again today. But I'm do it twice. Back inside. Welcome, curious friends. It is so nice to have guests. Nous sommes ravis de vous accueillir, humble mortel, dans ce Warlocks and witches, answer this call. Your presence is wanted at this ghostly ball.
seems very quiet here this morning for a Saturday morning, but maybe because it's raining, it's put some of the locals off coming, which should be good for us. Uh, we've just checked out the app, and Peter Pan's currently at 40 minutes, which is not too bad, so we're going to head over there now, and then hopefully by the time we got off that one, Pirates of the Caribbean will be reopened, because it's currently shut at the minute. But we've noticed that on the app um, over the last few days, they kind of shut some of the rides, reopen them, it might just be down to staffing levels. Um, yeah, so just the app's really useful because then you can see what's open and what's shut. Another tip for you guys, make sure you bring more than one pair of shoes because uh, Dave's trainers are wet because it's raining. And he did bring another pair because he's silly. And uh, I did suggest maybe going to the shop and buying some Disney ones, but he gave me an evil look, so I guess that's a no. There seems to be a few cast members dressed as pirates that are heading towards the parts of the Caribbean, so that might be some indication that it's going to open again soon. currently the app for Fantasyland and as you can see it's like five minutes it is uh, probably the best queue times you'll see in this area 25 minutes for Peter Pan or 35 sorry so we're just queuing up for uh, Peter Pan because this usually sits at about 70 minutes so I'll take 35 Like Peter Pan? Yeah. What did you like about it? Uh, I like the crocodile. The crocodile. Was he scary? Yeah. Did you like it, Baby Yoda? Yes. <laughs> what was your favourite bit? Nothing. What? <laughs> we 
weirdo. Right, let's go on pirates. It's back open. Whoop, whoop. This is definitely my favourite ride. So we've got to go on it again before we go home. Just had our final ride of the day on Pirates of the Caribbean, which we're very sad about, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna head home this afternoon, so we're just gonna head off down to Main Street and we're gonna check out some of the shops, pop into the confectionery store, of course, to get some treats, and then we're gonna be heading to Disney Village for some lunch before we have to head home. So yeah, I'm trying not to think about it because I'll probably cry, but here we go. Let's go to Main Street. The castle. She's so pretty. Hi, castle. Right, there seems to be a lot of people coming in now. We're heading out. Hopefully the shops will be quiet in a minute. Casey's Corner. Till next time. I think now the weather's got better. People are starting to flood into the park. There's Walt's restaurant. I have eaten there before, but we haven't on this trip. The girls are a little bit young for that one. Like more fine dine. Wouldn't trust Sienna in a fine dine just yet, bless her. It's the Emporium.
know what they say about kids in a sweet shop. <laughs> this is going to cost Daddy about 30 euros in pick a mix. Oh dear. Disney. I might be back in October. You know me. Always planning the next trip. So we've just come into Annette's diner because the girls fancy the milkshake and uh, the burgers are good in here so that's where we're going to have our lunch today. Wow, is that our little jukebox? What do you do? Well, you used to put money in it and then it'll play different songs, but it's just a pretend one, it doesn't work. Daddy's looking at the menu. What are you having, Dave? Oh, yeah, burger. What are you having? No way, we're in a burger bar. Get a hot dog. True. Dave's burgers just arrived. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh my god, Dave. Literally, what was that? Some sort of Maxi Mega Burger. Maxi Mega Burger. Do we think he's going to be able to eat it all? Of course. Of course. I went for the fish burger. And these two have got hot dogs. Oh no, Dave. That just looks wrong. <laughs> well, we'll see if he eats it. He's down to the last little bit. Oh. oh my God, I feel sick watching him. <laughs> no. Where does he put it? I know he's eating somebody else's chips. Dave, do you not feel sick? No. <laughs> I'm going to eat my um, milkshake for a minute. And then you can have your milkshake. Oh. <laughs> What's going to eat another one? So we just had a lovely lunch in Annette's diner and then we're just having one last little walk through the village, heading back to the car. Hi Disney! up today. Mind you, not that you can see a lot because it's cloudy. It's coming back down. Got Mackie D down here. We didn't go there this year. rainforest see you next time so it's just starting to rain again but we're not far from the car now so we've been lucky it's been dry for most of the day and here is my purchases the girl's got a uh, parts of the Gar Caribbean playset and I've been into the confectionery store and bought half of the uh, the counter because it's the last day and you have to take loads of treats home. Did you have a good holiday in Disneyland Paris? Yeah! What was your favourite rides? Uh, Father Bampton. Yeah, what else? Cow Terror. Cow Terror. Anything else? And Big Phantom Mountain. Yeah. And the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, they're our favourites, aren't they? 
So we've had a wonderful time in Disneyland Paris. I really hope that you've liked this series. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you very soon.